Hello. I'm Corinne and I'm still getting over a bit of a sickness at the moment. So my voice isn't usually like this, but I can't wait any longer. I need to get this stuff done. So what I'm going to be doing today and for the next 10 or so days is preparing for a market stall. So I recently had a market uh, our local market. And for those who don't know, I sell crochet goods. So I sell like crochet toys. I also sell cards. It's just sort of like my goal for it is for it to be like a gift shop and just of cute, colorful, um, I think some people would generally say the word whimsical, but I fucking hate that word <laughs> because I've watched so many episodes of that Zumbo's Just Desserts on Netflix that they're always saying, oh my gosh, it's such a whimsical dessert. And I'm like, oh, what a wank. Um, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, whimsical things, I guess. And what I found at the last market store was that uh, my display looked like shit, basically. Um, <laughs> it was not, there was not enough levels, not enough height. And when I looked at videos on YouTube and content, of other people's market stalls, I realized that, yeah, that's the problem. There's not enough height. It's not, it's just not eye catching. I actually didn't have any signs out this time for my business name or for, is this even recording? The red dot means it's recording, yeah. Oh yeah, two minutes, 14. <laughs> I didn't have any pricing. I didn't have any signage of any kind. Keeping in mind, this is a very local market and our suburb is tiny. <laughs> we don't even have a traffic light. So I could sort of get away with it for the local markets, but I've put myself down for what is looking to be a decent sized market in Burwood, which is about two and a half hours away from where we live. And I feel like I'm going to the effort of going there and spending weeks on and making products. I should at least market myself and present myself in a way that I feel I've put my best foot forward to allow for sales and presented a stall that I like to look at. Um, and hopefully by doing that, it will be a stall that other people like to look at and find it easier to buy from. So that's my goal. I have picked up some things for Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> One of them I'm really bummed because I was talking to him the morning that I was going to pick it up and it was still available and then I got there and he was like, oh, how long ago were we talking about that? I'm like, this morning. Like, I thought he was meaning that maybe it had gone like weeks ago or something. He's like, oh, sorry, someone came and got that ages ago. I was like, what were we talking about this morning? He's like, yeah, yeah, they came and got it about two hours ago. Like, that's not ages ago. <laughs> That's two hours ago. Ages ago would be like, oh, you know, it's been up for sale for like three weeks or some bullshit. Anyway, um, so I found something at Bunnings which was similar, which I'll probably do some painting of today, but I need to build it. And at the time when I saw it as a spice rack, when I saw it, I was like, oh, fuck that. I don't want <laughs> to get it out of a box and build it. But now, um, I'm okay with it because I'm painting them all anyway, so it makes more sense for it to not be made up for me to paint it. So the first thing I want to do is now keeping in mind, I'm not a painter. I'm not a DIY person. I just try my fucking best, all right? <laughs> so if you see me doing something and you think that's wrong, it probably is, and I fully believe you. Um, um, but also, I probably don't care. So <laughs> you're welcome to leave comments like, oh, you should have um, sanded that down or whatever. Um, I generally do know how to prep the wood. I just can't be fucked. Um, so... <laughs> For example, this, it's got a bit of varnish on it. I should be sanding it down, I'm not. Um, I will prime it with gesso. Again, I don't even know, I, like this gesso is for painting canvases. So I don't even know that it's a good idea to use, well, it's a fine idea to use it on this, but 
I, it's not made for this and I'm gonna go through it quicker. But it will just give it some grit because this has got a little bit of grit in it. And then, the other day, I'll insert a picture. I mixed my folk art paints to make, oh, and a little bit of gouache to make um, my logo colors. It looked good, but my problem was that um, it was really hard to mix the right amount of color. So I decided to get some sample pots made. And I thought going into Bunnings that I would be able to get sample pots made um, based on like the hex coats, but alas, that is not the case. You have to do it based on the actual sample swatch. So it was uh, the fizzy lime color that I remembered the color of, which is this color here. I remembered the color of it because of the name, Busy Lime, when I was getting the branding done. I got the sample pots made up. I had to match the colors as closely as possible to my brand colors based on the swatches that they had there. I couldn't find a pink or a purple that was the exact color. So I sort of picked a color in between the two and omitted the other one. So I will just have a pinky purple color instead of a pink and a purple. For this one, I'm just going to do stripes. Oh, I should probably clean this. This thing is this sign, which fuck me. It was dark brown, yeah? Just like dark brown wood. Uh, I used nearly a whole bottle of white folk art paint on this but it's gonna look cute as hell i've done some flowers on it now these are with my folk art paints as well so i was doing these before i got the sample pots so i'm gonna finish this one with the folk art paints and then moving forward just use the sample pots um, for my colors so the first thing i'm gonna do is make a warm drink and then i'm going to wipe this down prime it let it dry while i paint some more flowers Oh, that piece. Hello, I, I just wanted to quickly <laughs> address the elephant in the room, which is this top. <laughs> it's my painting top. So like, I don't know why it has holes in it. I don't know what it went through, what its story is, but I think it's, it tells a wonderful story. And it is now my painting top. So there's that. <laughs> okay. So, should I wipe this down dry or where? All right, we're gonna have some. Bit fucking hot, Jesus. Let's put some music on and get started. Playing from low bitch, Unicorn. <laughs> I say I haven't heard Taylor Swift in a while. I literally listen to her at least one album a week. Let's listen to Midnight's now that we know that her and Joe are broken up. Imagine if this was a breakup album the whole time. I feel like it might have been. Oh, Bejeweled, um, the other night I was thinking about it. That bit, some guy said my aura is moonstone just cause he was high. And all I can think about now is maybe it was about Matt Healy all along. Let's put it on. I'm a massive Swifty. Good thing about the holy jumper is I stick this towel in it so that I can wipe my stuff. <laughs> So apparently I wasn't probably recording myself actually painting while I was talking to dad. Um, but what I was saying was that by marking out the petals, I was able to get a much more even flower. My other flowers were, well, it was shit. It was like a four and a half. 
this old flower. And it looked bad. So this way, by mapping them out, I sort of um, don't have that issue. To do the petal, I don't drag the brush in an unnatural direction. So like the bristles naturally fall like that. So I go and meet it in the middle instead of going like that because that just um obviously the line is not as consistent when you don't have as much paint on the brush it ends up quite feathery um whereas you can get a cleaner line by meeting in the middle and following the natural falling of the brush One thing that I forgot to do is whenever I'm doing stuff for my business, I track it by using Clockify. Um, and so last week I did 23 hours. Wait, no, that was the week before. Last week I did 31 hours. So, yeah. Um, so I just click the plus button or the play button and then um, yeah I put it in so that I know how much time I'm spending on it um, and I guess when I was not tracking my hours I was like okay well like I've been busy but what have I been doing now I know Alright, so this is how it's looking. It's one side and then the other side. Looks super cute. Um, I'm just going to do this section now. And I think I'm going to do stripes on this section. My attention that I have a, like, a majorly bloodshot eye on my right eye. I hope I'm not dying. Um, okay, so <laughs> I found the... Oh, you can't really see me, but you, honestly, you're missing nothing. I'll just go back like this. Um, I found these jars of paint in our <laughs> garage. They were here when we moved in, so I think that they were like small amounts of the larger paints that are in there, but I can't open them, so I've got my little opening tool and I'm hoping to work. Oh, 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 there we go. I actually went to use the ceiling paint from our old house <laughs> and legit smelt like a tip. <laughs> or a very someone with very bad hygiene it was fucking rank um, it was there when we moved into our old house I used it for our wedding stuff actually okay so that's the only one I can get open so that's the one we will use now my gesso hasn't fully dried but I can't be fucked waiting for it to dry so i'm just gonna wipe <laughs> and this is what i'm saying you don't come to me for advice on how to do these things because i'm winging it and um i tend to cut a lot of corners because i get impatient and i just want to do it so clearly the gesso was a little bit too thick in these areas so i'm just wiping it off and um yeah then we're gonna paint but for now we are just going to paint this white 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 Um, so it's really nice coverage. It's full coverage, Queens. I guess you'd say it's opaque. It's opaque. It is. And I guess that's the wonder of all paint. Ooh. Maybe I'll go around touching up the house after this. Fill some holes with paint. 
I think I will not paint one of the handles so that I have something to lift it with. I won't paint this handle. And then when I move it over there, um, I'll paint the handle. Okay, so this tree, I've had a few questions about it, where I got it from, and um, it's it's hard because I get most of my stuff from Facebook Marketplace, um, and like I told you about that um, shelf that I went to pick up and he didn't have it, and I asked him like where he got it from, because it would have been perfect, and he said that he got it off Facebook Marketplace as well. So he got it off Facebook Marketplace, and then he gave it away on Facebook Marketplace. It's hard because, like, obviously, you can very easily find fun, cool things at the shops, but you end up paying a bit more. I got this one from a Pay It Forward page on Facebook. Um, so, obviously, I can't tell you where it originally came from. Um, but, yeah, just keep your eye out on Facebook Marketplace or um, join some Pay It Forward pages for your local area um, because they have some really cool unique stuff and I guess what I wanted from my store was things that um, I don't see everyone else using finished painting my flowery thing and now I've got ah, that's a rusty nail um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> why am I like this so now I've got this that I got from Facebook marketplace it's like a wooden not to be a plant stand but I'm gonna use it as a riser for my products at the markets um, so I'm just wiping it down with a Dry piece of paper towel, as you do, and then we'll do a little coat of white paint. I'll just paint it in, no one will ever know, except me. So this is what I finished, finished this one and I've just painted this, <laughs> very dodgy paint job and I used that entire jar of white paint, I need Adam to help me get more out and then I obviously painted those two, oh, let's do the front of this one, see it's a nice little, like it's pretty shit but it'll do the trick. Um, so yeah, I ran out of paint. <laughs> yes. There's the puppies. I'm doing this. I'm going to put on the glasses and see. Hello. Alright.
Alrighty, so it's been about two months since I filmed this video. This is how the sign ended up at the end of the week that I was filming. And in the following video, I will show you the lacquering process and how it ended up. And we'll have a market vlog, I suppose, as well uh, for the Bellwood Fuse Festival. So stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!